Within the game. Just good football. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. into the hands of his tight end Bates. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Complete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. 
So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. into a double team and it's intercepted picked off by the linebacker Jared Davis and he will bring this one back it is a pick six for a Washington touchdown so Charles our first points of the game provided defensively what a play that was and I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Uh, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break okay. if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Right back to him on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, this defense for the Commanders is very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 and on the young season. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because... When you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Lance now on first down. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything right. after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their Here loss we last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, but they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Looking for a seam, but finding none. They'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing his lance on third down. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Cole Holcomb proving too much there for the offensive line. He gets the sack. Patterson's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll set up a throw. Slings this deep for McLaurin. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fielded just inside the thirty. A pretty good punt, but a nice thirteen-yard return, and they will take over first and ten. Here we go. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up three and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. On second and nine, Lance. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. 
And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Uh, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Hey, Play action. Now it's Lance. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. On second down, they'll run it here. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, turned in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Patterson's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at seven to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. there set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense it's been an awfully slow start for them this is their third possession they don't have a first down yet so that means they have to change up what they're doing and for some teams it's a change in tempo usually moving it to more up tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now what they've been doing so far isn't working maybe they'll do that Opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And out will come the offense as they take over. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Now Lance throwing on second down. Steps away to his left. That's taken in by Duvernay. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. The commanders bring it out the nickel package on third down. To throw, it's Lance. And that is incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Oh, well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Lance looks to throw again. Rolling to his left. Throw left side complete. That's more. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. And Lance now to throw. Open man is Duvernay. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. 
A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Now Lance. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And the Commanders are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. They'll throw now on the final play. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Fields it right around the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. Well, that return had all the trappings of really good scouting. You could tell that they thought they saw something on tape that they could take advantage of, and they dialed it up at just the right time to give them a great return. Set, ready. Throwing on first down is Lance. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Right. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yards runs, and goes to one of those. Okay. Lance now on first down. That is caught by Lamb. And they'll get this down to the 10. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it all. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. He will return this from deep in the end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They'll go again with Gibson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Escaping the pressure right. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, the defense obviously could not have drawn up a better start to the second half. They're holding on to that slim lead, just looking for a stop. Not only do they get the stop, Charles, they get the pick six. Another example that life comes at you fast, doesn't it? One play ago, they're defending a slim lead coming out of the break. Now they're one more stop away from thinking about a possible put-away drive. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Defensively, that time they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Off of play action, and here's Lance. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And Lance again going to keep it. 
And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I'd get a few more yards if I just lowered my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head, his head coach, or probably his agent too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. Here's Lance. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. Here we go. The pressure Here we go. got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And they will run on the inside handoff. And once again, he'll get possibly back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Lance now on third and goal. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. D.J. Moore, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Patterson now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Second and six, just inside the 30. On play action, they'll throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. He's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third. Coming up on second and seven. They'll drop to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Flush to his right. And that will be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Got 
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The Commanders went for it, but they could not pick up the first. And yeah. Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Ready? On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations. There'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain go. some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And this Ready. offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Ready. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 51 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Patterson up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. Oh, good-looking return set up here. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's got Gibson on the out route. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Going up top. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and ten at the 43. A give up the middle to Gibson. 
And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll set up a throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now back to throw. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Thomas brings it in. Yeah, this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down and an exhale there as they convert on fourth. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the draw, it's Gibson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, though... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead now down to 20. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Now they run the option on second down. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide hey, maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants oh, ran man. it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. A 
Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the